Hey guys, welcome to the FIFA 21 Sergio Ramos player review. So for this review, I used both the anchor and the shadow chem styles to test out on him. I played Sergio Ramos as a right centre back in a 4-2-3-1 formation as well as the 4-2-2 formation. For this review, I partnered Ramos with Rafael Varane at the back. So let's get into the gameplay. So in real life, Sergio Ramos is one of my absolute favourite players. I was super hyped to do this review because Sergio Ramos' base card looks cracked. He has some of the most brilliant defensive stats for a base card in this game. For the 8 games I used Sergio Ramos in, I had a very interesting experience to say the least. For the most part, Sergio Ramos performs exactly according to his base card stats defensively. Sergio Ramos' defensive positioning was solid overall. He was always in the right place and rarely pushed up the field. He also had a great powerful tackle, sometimes too powerful and when I was tackling in the penalty area, I was a bit nervous, I'm not gonna lie. He also had some amazing strength and managed to bully every player rushing at him. I don't remember Sergio Ramos losing any header to any opponent and also he's a lethal weapon in the penalty box while taking corner kicks if you know how to take them correctly. His passing from the back was also amazing. He had this ability to hit powerful driven passes at ease. These passes are really handy if you want a quick counter-attack and catch your opponents off guard. Ramos has another hidden attribute that you might not have known, is that he has the highest stats for a penalty kick taker in this game. So if you have a penalty, you know who to take it with. Despite having these solid defensive attributes, Ramos let me down more than a couple of times. I truly believe that if you're a casual player or if you're not trying too hard competitively in this game, Ramos will be a great centre-back for you and will get the job done most of the time. I'm not a pro player either, but I am playing in Division 1 right now and the nature of this division is unforgiving. Any small mistake in Division 1 can be punished by opponents because the calibre and skill of the players in this division are so high. And at these high divisions and at a competitive level is where you actually see the shortcomings of Sergio Ramos. Ramos more often than not gets exposed on the counter-attack due to his lack of pace. Even after using the shadow and anchor chem style, I did not see a significant pace improvement in Ramos. Counter-attacking on the break is one of the most lethal forms of attacking in this build of the game. And to compete at the highest level, you need to ensure that your centre-backs have a decent or adequate amount of pace. Ramos honestly felt quite clunky on the ball and he was very slow to turn and change direction with. This hindered his ability to make interceptions due to a combination of a lack of pace and very clunky dribbling. His tackling at times was also very suspect or inconsistent and it felt that at times the AI did not register my input into the controller. His AI also let certain balls through past him which were literally at an arm's length. Initially, after playing a couple of games with Ramos, I just overlooked them saying that these were random errors by the AI and he would get better. But his AI kept making these mistakes in the remaining 8 games I played with him. These mistakes led to my opponent scoring some really easy and avoidable goals for me and it left me scratching my head. I have factored all of these elements into his player rating and I'm gonna give him a 7.5 on 10. For a value for coins, I'm gonna give him a 7 just because that I have used cheaper and better defenders in this game. But the matter of fact is that he is Sergio Ramos, he's the second highest rated centre back and he is a decent card to be fair. He's super linkable from a good nation and good league, so it does justify his price to an extent. If you're a casual player and you just want to enjoy the beast Sergio Ramos, please go ahead and pick him up. But if you want to get into competitive FIFA, stay away from this card, that's my opinion. I hope he does perform better for you. Have a great day guys, peace out.